Good day everyone! I am Romel Angelo A. Gonzalez, a second year student in Laguna State Polytechnic University, Lopez Satellite Campus, taking up Bachelor of Elementary Education, and I am currently taking this course, Science, Technology, and Society. This time, I will be talk all about when technology and humanity cross, which only focus on humans versus robots. But before we start, I prepared a game for you. I know that you are all familiar with this game, and this game is entitled Song Association. You will be given a word, and you will have 5 seconds to sing a song with that word in it. You will get one point for each correct song. To those who get the highest score will get additional points in our evaluation. And the first word is Niti. Second word, Someone. Third word, Larawan Fourth word Friend And the last word is Buhay Okay! Get ready and let's now proceed to our lesson proper. At the end of this lesson, we will know how robots change humanity. With the development of artificial intelligence or AI, robots may also eventually act and decide like humans. Humans and robots have very similar elements, just like in aspect of their arms and legs. They can run, lift weights, consume and use energy. But we can see also many differences. People create the robots and they can choose what aspects of functionality and design are important. But there are some benefits to get out of the similarity. Just like the body structure, muscle system to move the body structure, a sensory system that receives information about the body and surrounding environment, a power source to activate the muscles and sensors. And of course, the brain system that processes sensory information and intangible attributes such as intelligence and morality. And robots are machines that replicate human and its behavior. Though the Philippines has not yet reached the point of producing robots on commercial scale for household use, it still behooves us to ponder the ramifications of replacing persons with machineries. Technologies has consistently altered the way of workers in every industry that performs their duties. Technology has improved working conditions from the Industrial Revolution to the present day. Workers today are more productive than ever before. And we can see the impact of technology on work, especially in manufacturing and communication. Since our country has not yet reached the point of producing robots, Abdic Robotics launched two robots here in the Philippines, the Alpha 1 Pro and Astro Robot Gimo Robot Kit. Alpha 1 Pro is a household programmable humanoid robot designed to either entertain or educate. It has 16 high-precision sensor motors for its capability to replicate human movements such as push-ups, walking, choreography, and even kung fu. While Jimmy Robot Kits have interchangeable parts that will make sure for thousands of creative combinations available. So what is robot? It is any automatically operated machine that replaces human effort, though it may not resemble human beings in appearance but perform function in a human-like manner. 
and it moved within its environment to perform intended tasks. It was also moves in the way that it was a rigid program or designed text. Did you know the well-known human robot? Hanson Robotics, the most advanced robotics, produced human-like robot named Supia. It personifies our dreams for the future of AI or artificial intelligence. The character of Sophia captures the imagination of global audiences. She is the world's first robot citizen and the first robot innovation ambassador for the United Nations Development Program. Sophia is now a household name with appearances on The Tonight Show and Good Morning Britain in addition to speaking at hundreds of conferences around the world. Service Robot is a robot that performs useful tasks for humans or equipment, excluding industrial automation application. Service Robots operates to perform services which is useful to the well-being of humans and equipment. They exclude manufacturing operations and also they are capable of making decisions and acting autonomously in real and unpredictable environment to accomplish determined tasks. Just take a note, a robot may be classified according to its intended application as an industrial robot or a service robot. For example, a robot that is designed to play ping pong will really move like a ping pong player compared to a robot that is just used for playing surgical operations. Now, let's proceed to the roles played by robotics by Isaac Asimov. Asimov laws of robotics are not scientific laws. They are instructions built into every robot in his stories to prevent them in manufacturing in a way that could be dangerous. The first law, a robot may not injure a human being or true inaction, allow a human being to come to harm. Second law, a robot must obey the orders given by human beings, except where such orders would conflict the first law. And the third law, a robot must protect its own existence, as long as such protection does not conflict with the first and second law. There are ethical dilemmas faced by robotics. And the first one is safety. Safety of not only the owner of the technology, but also all the people inside the house should be priority more than anything else. And the second is emotional component. It is just right for the robots to be given their own set of rights should they develop the ability to feel different kinds of emotion. It can be argued the same thing happened with animals. I hope you've learned something from me today. Get ready for our evaluation. Are you ready? Okay, let's start. Direction. Write Angelo if the statement is true. And write Romel if the statement is false. Number one. Robots are operated machine that replaces human effort. Though it may not resemble human beings in appearance but perform functions. Number two. A service robot is a robot that performs useful tasks for humans or equipment, excluding industrial automation application. Number 3. Isaac Asimov formulated three laws played by robotics. Number 4. The emotional component of not only the owner of the technology, but also all the people inside the house should be priority more than anything else. Number five, safety is just right for the robots to be given their own set of rights should they develop the ability to feel different kinds of emotion. Thank you for joining me today. I am Romel Angelo Gonzalez. See you again.